So uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, the OPM selection committee, a subcommittee for the the Amherst School Building Committee, um, and today we're going to review the uh, interviews and the references and come to our decision. And I'm just going to do a little housekeeping while I. I want, I want to be able to get the uh, the text on my own screen here for the that both the Anthony that you and uh, Kathy uh, compiled for us up on a screen I can read and look at folks in the face so it might just take me a second okay I think I'm all set and Jonathan um, just I mentioned this before you got on but I have a hard stop at twelve just in terms of time proportioning I do as well. Um, and I guess I would I would ask uh, that maybe the, the first thing we should do is is ask uh, Kathy and uh, and and Anthony to kind of more formally report on the 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 references or or is it okay that we have them just as written? I, I'm just trying to uh, think of should. what folks would see if I they think, tune think, into this. I, I think a, a quick summary of our findings is probably in great. order. Uh, so I contacted three references for each firm. I only got responses back from one of each. Um, Foxborough is uh, for Colliers is in a bit of a different situation. They have a standing building committee uh, for decades now, apparently, uh, which handled most of the community outreach and was kind of a leading force and didn't ask as much of Colliers as other communities probably do of their OPMs. They were noted as being uh, timely uh, they liked their on-site OPM, but then they had kind of a weird thing when COVID hit and they had a disagreement about how much on-site presence was necessary. Town wanted more, Colliers wanted less. They were able to come to terms on that. Um, on the other hand, when COVID hit, they had new questions about HVAC and uh, Colliers and the uh, reference specifically noted because of their size and resources was able to do an excellent review of their HVAC systems and uh, address that very well. Um, for Doran Whittier, I only got to talk to Newton, who uh, was effusive. They were, uh, they were great at managing the project, which was expensive and contentious. They were uh, transparent, ran groups well. This was an older project, so web was not as much of a thing. Uh, and But she did note that they uh, did some uh, experiments, well, not experiments, but like studies with science students on, on some of the building systems and how those things worked. And the building is well currently well liked. Um, and then Collier's was not, uh, Collier's, I did reach out to Sharon Sherry at the Jones Library about her, their experience with Collier's which was effusive, so they worked very hard, have uh, gone above and beyond, and she loves them. So that's it. Okay, okay you want me to, I'll launch in. Um, yep. I'm reading what I wrote so I can summarize it quickly. Um, uh, answer, um, I got one more uh, reference just like 10 minutes before we spoke for North, um, for, yes. okay, yes, for, I, it's, he's in the, he's in the Canton School, Norton High School, so he's, the references now works for the Canton High Schools, um, which made it confusing, but um, he would hire Margaret Wood in a heartbeat, Again, she was fabulous. The rest of the team that worked with them, this is a project that closed in 2014 and had pink on it first. Um, the rest of the team is not the same team, um, but she said they were really important. Um, in the background on community outreach that most of the presentations were the architect, not the LPM, but they helped with a tricky post building project where the top of the high school made a lot of noise. Um, mechanical and was uh, the neighbors were up in arms as were the students and they fixed it for them they came back and came up with a solution and so he also was he loved them um i called one charter school uh which doesn't have to go through msba because it was a larger school 
and uh, they loved the team and they're now using them for another project. And this was a double project where first they did 400, then another 300 um, and brought it in on time. And in this one, they had to compensate for some mistakes the architect made. Um, the architect, one of them actually got in trouble for it and they had to resolve it. And the OPM stepped in and really helped, Margaret's team did. Clark Avenue Chelsea was day-to-day, uh, -day. originally was a different team. Again, Pink got absorbed by Answer, but they worked with Margaret on time on budget. It was really a challenge. It was phase construction and they managed it well with very few change orders. Um, Pine Grove and they, they answer featured this one um, was effusive. Margaret Wood was phenomenal. Um, she, 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 it was a simpler project than Amherst is what he pointed out, but they did had to do two districts in one year and sell it to the community where it was being built in one and not in the other and they brought it home. Um, it was phased construction. And East Longmeadow was just an accelerated repair. So that's one of the things on the answer references. Some of them were smaller projects. On CHA, um, as you see, I just kept calling. So they get very high, high ratings. Um, Tisbury, which is, um, and a couple of these were net zero projects. Um, they this one, the rave review was, of course, was for Christina Opper. She was amazing throughout the project. She had MSBI contacts on speed dial and was instrumental in the public projects. And they also gave a rave review to the cost estimating team. They um, it was complicated costs and they came in right on target and they helped. The whole team helped in Tisbury get the community to focus on needs versus wants to bring people together um, with some key compromises to get support. And Tisbury had originally failed, uh, didn't get a override vote. They're coming back to a vote and they think they have it this time. Um, and that will be in June. They love their design team. Lincoln um, was a, another all electric building. The design team did most of the focus on community outreach, not the OPM. Very strong cost estimator skills. This is, was unusual, they kept, but all of them mentioned this. They helped figure out clever ways how to construct and renovating in two phases. It was a complicated building project. Um, and the last one's Belmont High School. They worked with Tom uh, Getskinkas, the particular our lead. Yeah. Yeah, the team, you know, these are teams where all the whole teams were originally deadless in the case of CHA um, and they brought, they've used them on other projects and they were totally pleased with the team. It's, um, Belmont is by far the biggest of the projects that of the ones that I was calling on, it's $295 million. And in this one, the decision was to build the middle school, bring the middle school and high school together in one really big building for 2,200 students. And they're building it in two phases. Um, and it's, it, it was, has been crazy on a really tight schedule during COVID, but it looks like they're on time. And the team members have always been there for them throughout COVID. Distance has not been a concern. So very strong reviews for CHA. That's it. Great. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Say that again, Steve. That makes it hard. That, that does make it hard. <laughs> well, I, I had intended to say at the at the top of this that, you know, I, I think we have four strong candidates. Um, I really do. Um, and, uh, you know, I found myself going back and forth uh, as as we we're listening to the various interviews, about, you know, which which one I thought was was going to be the, the best fit for the town. And, 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 and it's still a question mark in my my head. And that's why we're going to have a, a discussion today. And and try to, to get to that. Anthony, can you remind us the the, the process that we said we were gonna follow? I, I remember saying about 15 points and I know that that you know there's there's the first set of reviews we did and that this uh, influences the the overall ranking of folks, um, but I wanna make sure that we 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 follow the process that that we laid out. Okay, so the owner will establish its final ranking of the shortlisted respondents after conducting interviews. Interviews will be scored based on responsiveness to interview questions, team availability, and quality of presentation, 15 points. 
The owner will conduct at least three reference checks for each shortlisted firm. References will not be scored, but will influence shortlist ranking. Owner reserves the right to consider any other relevant criteria that it may deem appropriate within its sole discretion and other such relevant criteria as MSBA may request. Owner may or may not within its sole discretion seek additional information from respondents. Um, and that is it. Okay. So what I would like to propose is that we take about uh, 15 minutes or, or five minutes for each of us to kind of give our impression of, of the different candidates, uh, um, then have some dis discussion um, and then vote uh, and hopefully getting that all done <laughs> uh, before enough before noon that we can, we can kind of conclude this. Does that, does that seem like a reasonable process to folks? It does. Okay. Yes. Um, and and to, I don't want to to feel like I'm overly leading the conversation. So I would love a, a volunteer that would like to go first. Anthony, yeah, I, can go, I can go first. So um, I am having a very hard time uh, picking a a top one. I think these are very four very strong candidates, and in trying to differentiate them, sometimes I feel like I feel like I'm nitpicking, but they're close enough that I think it is going to come down to small things. Um, I think. I think uh, as far as grading the interviews, um, I think Answer and Dor and Whittier both had equally great interviews to me. I would give them probably full points. Um, and since I scored Dor and Whittier higher as a proposal, I guess Dor and Whittier comes out as my preferred candidate. Uh, but I'm, I still like Answer a lot. Um, I would probably give Collier's yeah, maybe 10 of, of 15 interview points. I like that they addressed my concerns about MBE, WBE that I raised um, in their proposal review. Um, they, have a, they have an excellent track record. I'd probably put them third for me. I would probably have to rank CHA fourth. They had a real rough start to that presentation. And while it feels in some ways petty to hold PowerPoint issues against someone, again, they're all so close that uh, I, I feel like a year into a pandemic, I would like to see a little more uh, fluency with with online meetings. So I, I would dock them a couple points for that and probably call them eight out of 15. Um, uh, yeah, so that's, I, I guess that's where I stand. Door, answer, Collier's, CHA, but not really opposed to any of the four. We have another, another volunteer, Steve. I, I can go. So I completely agree with all the comments that we have four very qualified. And so it does come down to picking nits. So I started off with answer as my top rated one. And just like what Anthony's describing, you know, I thought as the day went along, I, I went up and down. But um, I think just if we nick, pick nits, I still remain with answer at the top, which for reasons I'll explain in a second. And then my second is call yours for reasons I'll explain in a second. And then followed by CHA and, and by um, Doran Whittier. So, so the reasons that I really like answer is, and I think I mentioned this at the last meeting, is that I really like the fact that it's led by Margaret Wood and it's really great to hear, you know, the effusing uh, or whatever the verb is, but um, I think that sends a strong message to the community about diversity and about sort of mixing up the paradigm on, on you know, who's, who's doing what. But there are also really strong other people on that team, like Mary Bolso apparently is an OPM in her own right. So she can, she's been the lead on her own projects under her own name. Um, I hadn't realized this until the interview, but Bob Stevens is a very known entity also. So he used to be the head of a firm in Springfield that did schools mainly. Yep. And I hadn't realized that, 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 that he had made this move from the, I, you know, it's a pretty common name, but he also has very high credibility. And then Shelly also is a really known entity in terms of passive house and in terms of sort of energy efficiency. Yep. So, and I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody there, but that team all seemed to be incredibly strong. And I like the fact that we're not 
you know, that there's diversity, you, yeah. you know, in terms of, you know, in that. The Collier's team, I have uh, maybe has even a close second because I do think they have really high credibility from the library project. So I only knew that through hearsay. It's good to hear Anthony's description after talking to library staff. But um, they seem more firm-like, even though I know that there are a bunch of players that are in different locations, but they seem like more corporate for whatever. There's something about the answer team also, there's an kind of an informality, which to me seemed kind of Western massy. You know, it's really hard to explain what I'm talking about. And then um, the CHA team in particular came across as very, <laughs> I hate to say this, but very sort of Eastern Massachusetts, you know, in other words, as, um, um, and I, mean, I just don't know how that will play. And then the Doran Whittier team, I thought was, you know, really impressive. My concern about the lack of architects on that leadership team remain. So I, I ended up with the answer in Collier's at the, at the top. Yeah, answer yeah, at the top, Collier's second. Go ahead, Kathy. I think okay, Steve's I'll, done. Go, I'll go second. Um, I also have answer as a top. And now that Steve has told me more about um, Mary Balso, um, the other thing about Bob Stevens that I saw is he's an architect and he's, he's our day-to-day -day person. And people, when I was doing the interviews, it became clear that some of the community facing, a lot of the community facing is at the point where almost choosing where we're gonna put the building and what the design of the build, you know, that, that's where you're really doing a lot of engagement. Um, so I had them high rated. And the other, the other thing um, I thought was notable about their presentation, they're the only ones I'd give a full 15 for on that, is they paid attention to Amherst. Um, they really looked at the things we were looking for and when they talked about challenges, they said, well, I think also, do you wanna hear, we, we think your challenges are gonna be, they started out, we've well, got two sites, you're gonna to have to pick one of them and you've got a regional school that you're gonna to have to work with. So they really, um, and I take that as a listening skill as well, that, well as a reading skill. You know, if you're listening to what the owner is looking for um, when you're reading what they wrote, then you're probably gonna listen when you're in the room um, so I was really pleased they got uh, high ratings um, from the for my the interviews, and I had been a little bit worried that they're not a huge team and that they're Boston based, but then we got that very quick answer. Oh no! But I have a child who's going to school here, and we have a house, so it seemed travel is not an issue with them. And answer itself has deep. You, you can go beyond the team we've gotten. So that's why I really like them. I liked CHC, I think I'm, I'm out of um, order here where I like CHA second. And it was particularly, it's, it's kind of unfair, but the two women on the team, I thought were really good. And then in the references, when I found out one of them, uh, Opper, has been an OPM on projects. So she's not being offered to us that way, but that how well she worked with the community and the cost estimator came in so close. Then I'm, I'm maybe people can help me, um, but I think I ended up with Doran, Doran Whittier. There's, are they the ones that answered all of our questions without allowing us to ask the questions? Is that- No, it? that was CHA. That was CHA. That was CHA. Okay, I didn't like that, you know. So I, I <laughs> so, nor did I. <laughs> you know, so that was a negative for me, um, and it was. I think I was just influenced also by the positive ratings. Doran Whittier, I when people say what's a nitpicky style, um, I don't like people to tell me in writing or in a presentation or in words that they're perfect, they're excellent, and they're the best you could ever get um, because it's a salesmanship. And, and you really want, again, I'm, I get very worried that what does that feel like when you're in a group of parents or a group of teachers where you don't want to say, you don't want to come across that way. So the the style throughout the presentation um, had me think less of them, even though um, they clearly can do the project. And then Collier's 
So I I ranked Collier's third and, and Dorn Whittier fourth because of that. Collier's I was surprised at. I didn't think I would like the presentation as much. I and at first, you know, I thought it was odd. They didn't talk enough about they didn't talk enough about Amherst, which is why I wouldn't have ranked them higher. Um, and I know for a fact that they have listened in on virtually every meeting we've had. <laughs> You know, so, um, you know, so they didn't, unlike Answer, which really paid attention to two sites, uh, sixth grade moving up, consolidation potentially, they didn't do that. And so I'm worried. And then the one other thing on Collier's, um, I I've watched what they've done on Jones, and I think in the meetings they've been great. But there is no community facing. It's extremely difficult to find anything about that project. If we're talking about website and community, that has not been a reach out to the community. Um, so to the extent anyone thought that was important, maybe they were told we don't need to do that. So I can't has it, but they have not done it at all with that project. So um, they did spend a lot of time, but I had, I have, I shouldn't, I just have some issues as we get to the cost estimating and I'm hoping I'm wrong on cost estimating. Like, yeah, I don't want a team that over promises. I want them to be really tough. Um, and I'm not sure, because again, this is selling a project. So answer came out as my top. Lane? Okay, so yeah, so I, I agree with um, everything that was said for great and um, candidates. Um, so I'll just give my overall and then I can go into some of the specifics and in light of what um, I heard as well. So I had um, uh, uh, originally my top three, just in our, our review of the proposals was Collier, CHA and Answer. But after the interviews and hearing the feedback and just going over some of the notes that I took, um, I have to say that um, just from my perspective and thinking about um, some of the interfacing that's gonna have to happen and some of the uh, real on the ground work that's gonna have to you know, be done by this company and, and in particular, this community. Um, I was really impressed with Answer's approach with their, um, with their style as well. I, you mentioned the diversity led with, um, I think her name is Margaret, if I'm not mistaken. Very, very, um, uh, yeah, like I, I just, I, I, I enjoyed their presentation and it seemed that they had a handle on um, as well, this community, what we needed. Um, I was surprised um, with, with Collier's because, um, you know, I thought that, you know, with the previous work in town and some of their uh, past experience um, that that would come through um, in the interview, uh, but, um, but you know, it wasn't um, wasn't as impressive that as as I saw on paper, um, which actually uh, CHA they you know really impressed me with their um, with their interview. I took you know I I noted that as well that they answered the questions before we can even ask, and I don't know if I took that as maybe they were trying to be ahead of the curve and like trying to you know. <laughs> just go at it and you yeah. know, give you everything that you needed. So I, I took that as a, you know, as a asterisk, like, hmm, you know, maybe that was a, a, a sign of them just trying to, you know, uh, give it to us. But they really um, impressed me with their uh, community, uh, familiarity with the community. Uh, uh, the, the, what do I have? Um, uh, with their working through COVID and remaining available. I thought that was very, very, um, very important for them. Um, Doran Whittier, I was impressed with them as well. They had a lot of the, uh, uh, their work in the schools, uh, um, but just in overall presentation. And I think, you know, just for my, my observation and, and what we need. And I think um, just in, you know, the, the, I think all of them will be able to do the job, you know, but I think that it's going to take a, particular um, uh, uh, company to, you know, do it successfully and, you know, give this community what we need. So, you know, just on, on that, um, I would, my top pick, I think is gonna, gonna, I'm gonna go with answer. Um, and then 
coming after them. Um, it was tough, but I would have to say CHA, Colliers, and Door and Whittier. Great. Well, I, I may sound like a little bit of a, a broken record. Uh, the answer was definitely my top. They were the only ones that, that actually noted our project goals, which I found really interesting, you know, between all the, the, the um, uh, proposals we reviewed and the four interviews, they were the only one who, who seemed to have, have read them, <laughs> at least in, in acknowledging, uh, and then therefore uh, by acknowledging them to us. Um, which I thought was impressive. I was impressed with the, the folks on the team. I, I don't want to be too repetitive um, since we've kind of gone over it. Uh, but I was also impressed with the fact that they 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 took on the challenge of figuring out our challenges. Um, and and all their answers seemed to they did their best to try to tie them back to us and our and our project, the, our town's issues. Um, and some of the others did, some of them didn't. Um, to be absolutely honest, I, I feel like there was enough things that were a little bit off in the other three that I have a hard time actually coming up with a second. I have them all kind of ranked as third. Um, I didn't appreciate, I, mean, I think CHA is a, a very qualified firm, but I didn't like being kind of talked at. Um, yeah. And I can't imagine that going well in certain environments. And yes, there will come a point where the, you know, the design team will do a lot of the presentation of a design, but your OPM needs to be there and needs to be um, kind of the extension of the owner. And so they, they I'm, I'm a little nervous about that. Um, and again, I'm picking nits here. Colliers, uh, they did eventually address all four questions, um, but I found it a little bit of a haphazard uh, response. They, they, they kind of, in their main presentation, uh, hit, uh, I think, three or four out of the five. And then in the actual question and answer period had to circle back and kind of complete that. I found that, you know, we got the answers, but I, I felt that as a presentation style, that was a little choppy. Um, and I, while I, I thought Doran Whittier did a did an excellent job, um, and in some ways allayed my my concerns about not having an architect kind of right in the, the in the mix. Um, it I was still just a little bit concerned about the about the fit. With Amherst, um, you know the, the 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 fellow who did most of the, the the speaking seems to be the boss, and he definitely has that entrepreneurial quality, um, and started up that division. Um, but I wasn't, I didn't get a sense because he did most of the speaking about the depth of experience of the other people, which is probably there, um, but I w I wasn't getting that. So th those are my takeaways. Um, follow up comment from Amherst. I, Anthony, Oops, sorry, Anthony yeah, and Kathy. So um, I'm curious how we want to do this. Where we did, where we said in the RFS that we were going to score them on the interview, I, I feel like we should at least get some point values on the record. Yes. Um, you know, we're still going to need to come to a consensus, although it kind of sounds like we're pretty near one already. But yeah. I was wondering if maybe we could get that. So I, I scored answer 15, CHA 8, Collier's 10, D&W 15. And I would score, Anthony, do you mind keeping the score? Oh, no, I, so I will keep, okay. I, yeah, I'm, I'm putting it in the spreadsheet now. Okay, um, I'm gonna uh, give answer 15 and I'm gonna give the other three all 10. Okay. Assuming that's okay for me to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I gave answer 14, CHA 12, Collier's 11, and Dora Whitty 11. I have answer 15, Collier's 10, CHA 8, Dor Doran Whittier 8. Um, Kathy is answer 15, Collier's 8, CHA 8, and DNW uh, 5. And Anthony, I, well, the, the, the ultimate answer is, is, is self-evident. Maybe you could just read the, the totals for the record. Yeah, so let me, uh, what's the cleanest way to do this? 14, 12, 11, 11. Fifteen, ten, ten, ten.
15, 8, 10, 8. Okay. Okay, so. Um, so yeah, it's fairly, fairly clear that answer is our, uh, our top, at least as far as the interviews. Um, I, th I think everyone said they were their number one rank, except I said they were a close two. So kind of feels like we have consensus. <laughs> Um, do we, do we need to rank them so that we have a second ready to go in the worst case scenario, or are we just picking a finalist? I think, well, I, I would kind of defer to your, your, um, we didn't actually say, did we? Yeah, yeah we yeah, didn't. Right. <laughs> um, I think we should probably do that. I, I don't anticipate that there would be a complication with the contracting, um, but we don't want to leave ourselves in a place um, where should some very strange thing come up, you know, they get the they get the the nod on on a on a two hundred million dollar Boston area school and they can't take us on kind yeah. of uh, thing. And I don't want to have to restart our process in any way. So we should yeah. probably see who comes out second here. So um, uh, Colliers and Door are tied, but there is more consensus around Colliers as a number two. Okay. Uh, can we? Uh, just take a quick poll. Would anyone be uncomfortable with Collier's if, if for some reason the answer did not work out? Um, I'm a little uncomfortable just on the community outreach mm -hmm. side. Um, uh, and I want to know more about cost estimating. So just those two, two pieces. Um, you know, the CHA team, I definitely was influenced by the... Mm -hmm the um, interviews and Jonathan, I believe you'd already said you'd worked with Delwyn. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, just it's, you know, so, so a couple of times I said, I want to take that person and put that person <laughs> over know. this team. No, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, <laughs> and sorry. I know, I know we can't recreate a team. Um, only, uh, only baseball teams can do that. Yeah, yeah I know. Can we tra do a quick trade? Yeah. yeah. Oh God. Um, and I know, uh, Steve, you 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 have res probably equally concerning reservations about Dor and Whittier. Um, yeah, yeah. Just uh, and my concerns aren't major because we will have an architect, but it just right. it just seems. Yeah, no, I wouldn't put. You know, I could have downgraded Dor and Whittier a little bit more on points than I did. Maybe I already gave them low points on the interview, but um, you know, CH. I was comfortable with CHA for a couple of reasons. I agree on the presentation, but just they've got this depth of engineers and architects um, and teams. So if we, um, they were my, I think if they were my second, I'm just looking at, can I be internally consistent? They were my second rated among the four teams going into this too. Yes. So they, yeah. If we, um, if we take their, Base score, their base That's average. Good. Yep. And then, um, <laughs> then we get that's funny. Then we get a then we get a CHA door Whittier tie. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Well, no, uh, no, not it's very close, <laughs> but door no. comes out as a <laughs> by one by one average point higher. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I shouldn't be influenced by that, but I, I did think oh, the presentation be. style just so complete and the lack of architect, I would I would have ranked them lower when I first did my first ranking. Um, my boss is calling me. Hold on one second. You know, Steve, I didn't pay enough attention to that first time around or in Whittier, who they don't have their, on their team. It's uh, this committee has been great because we all have different lenses and we're all yeah. looking for slightly different things. So I, I think it's a very strong team that way that we all have um, things we're looking for. 
Anthony was that, that didn't have to pertain that call didn't pertain to this this nope Sean, matter Sean again. okay nope Sean just wanted to bug me so. you know we do <laughs> Anthony read us the language we do not have to be driven just by points we can yep. be we you know the fact that um well we have three demer three teams with demerits on didn't pay enough attention to Amherst um uh you know style presentation style uh, where we weren't scoring it on points, but you know how well they would work with the community. So, I, you know, it's funny. It, it, I, I'm sure the, any of the other threes could definitely do the job. Collier's kind of knows town. I, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's of course why I had them all ranked uh, the same. But right. And that's a strength and a weakness, right? Knowing right. the town already, because then you get the calluses and the, so sometimes it's better to not know the town, <laughs> but, but you know, CHA has, Tom Gazunas is a very highly credible guy. He was the director of public safety, mm. um, which is the division in charge of the building code. And he was the head of BBRS or the building. Mm. So, so that was one thing about that team that's really impressive. And then Collier's, they know the town. I think Ken Gaillet has a lot of credibility. And then Doran Woodier is nested in an architecture firm, <laughs> which also gives it some credibility to me. Not that they don't have credibility for other reasons. I think that any, I don't know. Can we throw them down the stairs or? or? I had, um, I just had uh, just in my notes for the interview yeah. uh, with CHA, just um, really saying about that informing the town as, as soon as possible and that it's a community decision and you need town buy-in to have that as, as highlights and that school is a town effort. And just looking at Collier's with their um, feedback on the community support. Um, uh, you know, I, I noted um, for Collier's, the, um, in particular, the Spanish speaking community outreach with, um, I have to get her name, but um, that was very it's important true. for me as well. Yeah. Uh, so. And that, that, that's an important potential uh, uh, attribute given that we have a, uh, what, one of the schools involved has a, a dual language program. Dual language program, yeah, yeah. So that was a very, very um, in, um, impressive point. That was CHA? That was, that was Collier's. Collier's, okay. Gotta see who, let me there see. were two firms that had Spanish speakers on staff, right? Am I wrong on that? I think you're right. Would it would have who uh, was it was it was it CHA and Collier's both? I think I think both. I think in particular with Collier's, it was um, Elizabeth, if I'm not mistaken, on staff. That uh -huh. was, um, and she was directly engaged with the community um, part. So I I, I write. Um, I, I would probably change my tens to elevens for <laughs> for both of them, uh, but that doesn't really resolve our 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 overall uh, second place dilemma, I don't think. No, and, um, and on CHA, um, you know, I'm just a combination of the style of presentation after they got through their glitch. Um, did, but uh, Christina Opper on digital strategies and website was great. And she got great reviews for doing that. And Brian mm -hmm. Wilcox is a really strong day-to-day -day person. That's their data. So I am probably... I would probably do my CHA more at a 10 on the interview, on, on wherever the, I was on interview. I seem to have ranked them down. This is difficult. <laughs> it is. It is really there difficult. Some, you know, now that we're speaking frankly here with, on a recording. Yeah. Um, and Kathy was talking about perfect or somebody was talking about perfect. Yeah. We're the perfect team. And I don't know if that was CHA, but they said- No, that was the DNW. Yeah. But CHA did something similar, which really bugged me, which was when you hire CHA, you know, you're going to choose the best team and it's going to be CHA or something like that. And I thought, yeah, this is like right out of um, what's that TV show? Uh, Shark yeah. Tank. <laughs> yes. Or Mad, or Mad Men. Um. <laughs> or Mad Men, right. <laughs> Mad Men. <laughs> we're, we're the best and you're going to love us. <laughs> yeah. Well, Anthony, it, you can change for what it's worth. My, my, uh, 10 for Collier's to an 11 um, and, and that for that matter, CHA, because I do think that having the, the, the Spanish speaking um, staff is, a, is definitely a plus that sets them above Dora and Whittier. Yeah, I would probably increase my own score for CHA given that. Yeah. Did that do anything? 
Well, now we have a different. It, it uh, now makes it more confusing, time. actually. <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> well, it gives we, a, we, uh, them uh, more of an agreement on CHA. Yeah. Yes, I, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. So, um, CHA two. Are we get? Is that what we're getting? Yeah. I think so. Nope. All right, and then I don't think I don't think we need to contort ourselves to try to pick a third. <laughs> no. It would be a yeah. Hope, hopefully, we don't get there. I and I don't think we will. It's hard to imagine. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I think we have a really good first choice. Um, I I wrote down the the Shelley from Vermont. Um, I actually was thrilled to have someone be thrilled about a project. <laughs> you know, yeah. and she talks about the opportunity for kids to learn. They're the stewards for our future. Um, and so, so Anthony, can we, um, I know you're going into, you go then into negotiations. The one thing I wanted to make sure they can do for us um, and is uh, build a website for us. To just be asking that um, they mm -hmm. gave they gave some examples in their proposal, but the websites that they they were beautiful websites, but they were for the final school, you know, it, you know, mm -hmm. like they would be doing the ARPS website for us, and it would be a better <laughs> website than what we now have. <laughs> they were beautiful. They were beautiful websites, but just the project website because um, we need we need them to be doing that for us. Um, so just ask. I mean, I'm just assuming that one of those people will be doing that. <laughs> Anthony, what other housekeeping items do we need to do for, uh, uh, for, for MSBA? Um, I don't think this group needs to do anything at this point. Okay. Uh, when we close here, I will inform the first rank finalist answer that they need to submit a fee schedule to the town manager. I will inform the other three that they are not the finalist, uh, and I will talk to Dr. Morris uh, to get the, we need to submit the packet to MSBA, so I'll tell him that we're getting close to that, and uh, we'll have to submit that for next week. Uh, by rights, we're actually ahead of schedule, because we said, we said negotiations would begin on Friday, and, and here we are on Wednesday with our, with our finalist, so. That's a good thing. Um, so we've got, we've already got the meeting for the full committee scheduled. Um, as long as nothing goes wrong, I don't think this group needs to plan to meet. Um, okay. so I have one, I, 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 Doc, I, I'm guessing when we put the packet together, I might need to tap people to, uh, maybe supplement what, what I've already written. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll run the, we should, we should have what we're submitting ready for the meeting on meetings on Tuesday, right? But the full committee meeting is on Tuesday, and we'd set up a subcommittee meeting for Monday morning, unless you don't think we need it. Oh, did so we have one for Monday morning? Okay, I might, I might have confused them. You might, I, not, I have set it, you might not have set it up oh, yet. I oh, right, that's a, it's a subcommittee. I'm supposed to set it up, right? Yeah, you're supposed um, to set it up. So I just no, had I a question, yeah. Anthony, on the write-up. Um, you were going to give, if you need me to do anything, I just need to see what I... I assume I can go on MSBI site, but I'd need to know like what's the form that you're going to have to write to. And it was really helpful last time that you already had it and you'd filled in some of the stuff. So if you need, yeah, let's uh, let's look at what that is. We got some. We got a couple of minutes. We can look at what yeah. that is yeah. right now. Um, is it here? Guidelines and forms. Well, that's what I, I went into there, and then I said, "What am I looking for?" <laughs> this, Kathy needs needs a, a guide to the MSB website. I said, "So this is a submission for our choice of OPM," and I couldn't find anything that had that title in it. Gosh, I I was looking at the page just the other day because that's where I got this score sheet because I got it from there. And where is the full? Well, you don't have to do it in real time. I, I guess just... I guess not. I thought I thought I was going to immediately find it, but yeah. So I will, um, and I'll be, and uh, I'll I'll be doing that with the superintendent. So anything that we I need help filling out, I will contact. And I'm I'm on call guys. all week. I I yeah. thought that uh, you know I announced already I would do whatever writing I need to do 
you know, I've taken really good notes. So if you need something to summarize references, if you just let me know. Mm -hmm. um, do you, uh, do we, should, should I um, post a meeting for Monday or I, I think we're, I'm not I, don't sure think we we'll, need I don't think we'll need yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, I mean, the, so only, it, the only reason I can imagine we'd need it is if for some reason you can't come to a contract. Right. Okay. And so our group does not need to, you know, we had sort of thought of it, there was a draft report where we had to do some of the writing, we'd all review it. But if we don't need to do that, um, so I can just say, Anthony, if you need me at all, I can do just what I did last time, which is, you know, I, I seem to have a writing style that MSBA likes. Um, <laughs> and I call it the terse and succinct writing style. We're just telling away. What? Oh, here it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I found it. I found it. So, OPM narrative. Okay, so you just send me that. Um, I'm not going to be able to take a screen. No, you. No, I'm, I wouldn't expect you to. But. Uh, So a list of required information for the narrative includes the following members, issuing the RFS. Yeah. Okay, great. And then rubric score sheet, which we've already got. So yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Okay. All well, right. Sounds like we, we, we may be finished up. Um, I guess before before I formally close it, if if any of the, the respondents are, have, have, are you know viewing this uh, after the fact through the whole thing, just to thank them all for their for their efforts, I have no yeah. doubt there was a bit of uh, weekend time involved with getting those interviews ready um, for for the other day. We do have uh, we do have public comment on the agenda if Miss Cunningham <laughs> feels the need to weigh in, our only attendee right now. Well, let's do that if, if she would like to comment. Doesn't appear that she does. Okay. So with that, uh, we will conclude uh, today's meeting. Thank, Thank you. you all. Thank I, you so much, John. Actually, yeah. it's been a, I just want to say it's a pleasure working with all of you. It really yeah, that was a <laughs> very good and good job, team. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for leading, Jonathan. Yep. Thank Not you. at all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you later. Bye now.